So some of you may be familiar, probably very few of you, with Ether Drift, which was an augmented reality card battle game I was doing using regular mobile phones uh, a couple years ago. And basically, it kind of, you know, uses Vuforia, so it uses the same kind of AR you've seen for years and years, which is what I call, you know, dudes on top of cards, a 3D model on top of a card. And in this case, you know, you put the two cards together, and the characters fight. You know, kind of like... Um, Kid Icarus on the 3DS, which I thought was a pretty cool little AR feature, and I decided to maybe expand it into an entire game. These characters are actually originally high-res sculpts, which we used to 3D print to molds to make toys out of, and then we used those high-res sculpts, de res them, rigged them, and animated them for Unity so we can make an augmented reality card battle game. You know, it's kind of like Skylanders for adult nerds. So basically, runs pretty well. Vuforia runs great on mobile. It has for years. And so, uh, yeah, I thought it would be great to combine Ether Wars and Ether Drift, even though they're in the same universe, you know, they're two completely different games, I thought maybe I could combine the two with Vuforia for HoloLens, because I was recently given access to the HoloLens beta for Vuforia. So I thought, you know, maybe you could use trading cards as a summon or something like that to create these characters as, uh, or summon them as ground units or something in a game. But it turns out that it didn't quite work as well as I had thought it would. I have the Vuforia 6 beta it's very early, and I didn't get much farther than trying the, the test app to see what the performance was like before I determined that it probably needs a little bit more time in the oven for it to be performant enough for my purposes, at least for a game. So you can see here, I move this image target, and then the, t the pot moves. You know, look at that lag. It's like half a second lag. And the further away you move away from the image target, it just gets really unstable. It starts jittering all over the place. And, uh, yeah, and that's a giant piece of paper. I had, you know, had to be a big piece of paper for it to recognize. I don't think I could really use a trading card. I'd have to hold the card so close to the device for it to recognize that, you know, it probably would get clipped out because of the near clipping plane. So I'm going to keep my eye out of Euphoria because Euphoria is great on mobile. But right now for HoloLens, it's just not, uh, it's not ready for prime time.